Oh shit, yo, to the face, to the face, to the face, to the face, it is. Can you, can you see it? Can you see it? You cannot see it. Not even on. It's me. It is 10.01 p.m. Thursday. Another vlog, really? Two in the same day? Yeah. This is going to be a really short one. As you can see from my surroundings. I am someplace new. Someplace new. Someplace new. Oh, wait, that's right. I'm here at Julianne's work, and I just received some of the best news ever. She had an issue with Joe, and Joe said, good, I'll make it easy for you, it's over, blah, 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 blah. And I couldn't be happier, smiling, all smiles. I'm really am fucking happy. But yeah, I just want to be brief, because clearly stuff's going on and shit like that so yeah but she gets off working about in about 58 minutes so yeah pretty much things are going great fucking ecstatic to hear that it's finally coming to an end and my vlog from earlier pretty much says just what I wanted it just, it's happening which makes me incredibly fucking happy because now if that issue handles itself, the money issue seems to be handling itself. We're rolling forward. We're moving forward in the new year. Balls. Balls. But yeah, pretty much it. I just wanted to ramble and show my happiness. I'm really fucking happy that this guy is like burying himself. Because it doesn't take much to let a woman know you care and just be a decent person, a good person to the person that you're with and you claim you love. But that's just me. I, I I make an effort to keep in touch, contact and stuff. And we all know Rebecca is day eight. She hasn't said anything or day nine. It should be day nine in about an hour. Day nine. She hasn't said a fucking word. But she wants to be like my friend and wants to see what could happen. But yet, she can't even bring herself to send me a text message and say, I'm still alive and I'm still going through whatever I'm going through and I'll try and contact you again when I have something else I want to say. Good little shit. That's why I tell her we're so similar because our, even our situations are really fucking similar. I mean, my thing is I'm not engaged to Rebecca. I've actually broke up with Rebecca because I'm just a person who, bam, straightforward. And it's just ironic. But whatever. I'm happy. I'm happy that he is seemingly being removed. It makes me very happy person because I feel uh, me and her are so much better for each other than her and him so I'm happy really fucking ecstatic I don't know the way I can control it but not just like dancing around and shit is it just like keep it in but yeah inside I'm 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 fist pumping I'm like yeah nigga yeah 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 to myself for causing any trouble so I'm just gonna leave it at that as you can see seeing as their internet's being really weird and shit like that I'm just watching heroes until she gets off fucking work and seeing as these episodes are like 40 to 50 minutes long without commercial what you mean like I guess you get to watch like the second episode that I just started on so yeah oh I'm happy couldn't be happier to hear that She's giving his ring back to him, and he's pretty much burying himself. I don't think there's anything he can do to unbury himself, and I like that because, I mean, you had your chance. I mean, that's why you go into your relationship trying to make sure that you are the best person, but yeah, whatever. Someone's coming. Deuces. So fucking happy. So fucking happy. <laughs> yeah. Claire Bennett, the cheerleader. What?